Plutz GPT brings the power of ChatGPT directly into After Effects, offering you the most unreliable way to write expressions and scripts. Tell Klutz what you want to do, and if you're lucky, you might just get some working code. Easily generate and run scripts, apply expressions, feedback errors into the chat, and manage multiple chats. Hi everyone, Justin from Hyperbrew here, and today we've got something a little different. Clutch GPT is our new free and very experimental tool to use AI to generate scripts and expressions for After Effects. Once you've installed the extension, go to Window, Extensions, Clutch GPT. First off, they'll be greeted with info on OpenAI's pricing and a big scary warning about the dangers of running AI-generated code. Make sure to read this through. If you're okay with this, press I understand and agree, let's start hacking. Next up, you'll need an OpenAI account in order to use Klutz GPT. At this time, a new account with OpenAI comes with a free trial and afterwards is very inexpensive. View the pricing page for more details. If you don't have an account yet, follow the first link to sign up. If you already have an account, follow the second link to create an API key. Once you've created a key, copy that value and paste it into Klutz GPT and press login. Now that we're logged in, we can get to work. We can use one of the prompt buttons to get us started. Let's try writing a script. So press script prompt and it will pre-fill the start of the prompt. Now I'll enter reset the position, scale, and rotation of the selected layer. We'll send that to GPT and see how it does. And now we got a script. Let's run it and see what happens. And we got an error. I'll hit OK and Clutch GPT will feed that error back into the prompt for a rapid prototyping. We'll send that off and see if the AI can fix the bug. Now we've got an updated script, let's see if this one works. I'll offset the transform so we can test it again. Nice, I just want to lose the pop-up alert and send it a layer, and we're done. And we got back a new script. Let's test this one out. Aha, that did it. Well, that took a few tries, but at least we got a script that sort of works. Now let's try an expression. Start a new chat by pressing the new chat button and hit the expression prompt to get us started. I want to do a common ignore parent rotation on these layers. So I'll type ignore the rotation of the parent layer. Kick that back to GPT and see what it comes up with. I'll get all my rotation values selected. Okay, we've got an expression. Let's see how this guy works. I'll press apply expression and... Aha, look at that. First try. We got lucky. Amazing. You can also hover to the top corner to manage previous chats. Not if, but when you do run into errors with the system, click on the help button which will explain why AI-generated code is unreliable and provide you with some resources on learning to write your own reliable scripts. Or if you're interested in having a custom tool built, be sure to reach out to the Hyperbrew team. That's it for now. In summary, Clutch GPT brings AI powers to After Effects for better or worse, you decide. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.